Thank you, Agnieszka. Uh, good morning, everyone, or I should say good day. Uh, my name is Ziad Chouedi. Uh, I'm the sales director for Redline, uh, looking after uh, the African continent uh, and some part of the Middle East, the so-called uh, Levant, including Kuwait, Iraq, uh, Lebanon, Jordan as well and some strategic account for deadline. Uh, today, we have dedicated one hour uh, for us to present to you our solution uh, for oil and gas, uh, the red line solution, to talk about a little bit about who we are and definitely to introduce to you our portfolio and to touch on the use cases and, and the value proposition for red line. Uh, I would hope you know the, this session to be as interactive as possible uh, in order for us really to maximize the benefit. Um, Agneska, please let me know if you know um, uh, my voice is clear or I need to do any type of adjustment. Everything is okay, Seth, so you okay. can continue. Okay, thank you. Okay, so today we start the session uh, with uh, our HSE, as usual, Redline, uh, you know, endorsed uh, st stringent HSE measure. It's important to know your emergency uh, exit door. Uh, definitely, uh, if you are driving while listening to this session, you should stop and uh, use, uh, you know, a Bluetooth uh, medium. Uh, so this is very important to the industry, and, and we, we definitely endorse it. Okay, Redline Communication. Basically, it's, it's over 22 years uh, in the industry. We have been founded back in 1999. Uh, I am personally with, with the company for almost 16 years now. So as you can imagine, I am, you know, I came with the furniture. Redline have grown uh, significantly ever since. Uh, we have physical employees located in 14 countries across the world. Redline is a publicly listed company uh, traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange. And that's really important, you know, to our uh, customer base. Being public uh, present great advantage, but definitely lots of, uh, you know, uh, transparency as well. So what you hear always, what you hear from Redline is what you will get at the end of the day whether it's a data sheet, white paper, you know, a test report, every content shared has to be audited by a third party, really, which, you know, increase the level of credibility of the data we share with our clients. We are a multinational company, as you can imagine. We do have projects over 70 countries. We have sold to date over a million radio deployed. So, this technology is very much matured. Uh, you know, lots of businesses and industries are running with it and, and generating significant profit and really contributing uh, to their business. Uh, I should say this slide is a little bit outdated. Uh, we do have around 100 registered patents and very, very important for strategic clients, especially for you know, uh, large uh, upstream oil and gas operator, Redline have the ability to provide a turnkey, a complete solution. Uh, and we will touch base on that uh, throughout the slides. Very important. So who's Redline addressable market? And the market we target uh, is listed as such. So traditionally, uh, you know, starting with the WiMAX, uh, technology back in the days over 15 years ago in 2004 2006 redline has been one of the first system to be fully certified at the time and uh, redline enjoyed you know uh, networks the sort of you know big big tiers one operator uh, in 2006 we had the largest fixed wireless network uh, worldwide uh, using over 40,000 radios. So really that helped us throughout our, our evolution to develop the know-how and the expertise to market uh, for 
you know, the business to business type of, of uh, client. And we still cater to uh, this specific market niche for the uh, MNOs and the telecom market. Redline still cater to business to business. Uh, you know, it's usually an overlay for for those uh, MNOs and uh, you know those WISP. Uh, so customers who would like to have a, you know high KPI SLA type uh, of connectivity, uh, it's ideally you know to look for us uh, for these type of of requirements. Uh, also, we do cater to the government sector, and uh, Redline has been engaging throughout the years. And lots of uh, you know public safety uh, uh, department of traffic uh, surveillance for the police border control uh, type of connectivity. So again, it's it's a niche play for us, but very significant. And you know we we managed to become the incumbent in many police and traffic departments throughout the region, uh, and connecting lots of border for for the army. Uh, you know, mainly for surveillance uh, and uh, I would say monitoring and control uh, capability. But the focus of today's presentation uh, is definitely the oil and gas market. And, uh, you know, it's not a secret to our peers. We have been, uh, I would say, the benchmark of the industry to date. We are by far uh, the most successful wireless vendor in the oil and gas. Uh, infrastructure market and we will be uh, you know we'll walk you more in details in the next slide about the capabilities we bring to the industry so our brand the red line communication brand is, is definitely recognized in the market uh, for a few icons and we will touch on them uh, red line means powerfulness mean versatility and means reliability and those are essential definition for the oil and market those are i would say requirements and uh, and those are essential requirements so we do provide the most powerful rugged and reliable wireless network using our leading edge technology uh, and in essence helping to optimize uh, you know, a, a, low, uh, a total cost of ownership in terms of low entry capex and very, uh, you know, uh, manageable opex uh, for these upstream operators. And uh, obviously, these are futuristic uh, type of network and uh, not necessarily subject matter expert like the carrier and the WISP market. So we understand those markets very well. We have been engaging in the largest, I would say, nationwide uh, rollout for oil and gas. And uh, throughout the, the presentation, uh, we, will, uh, we will be able to talk more in detail. Uh, again, to reiterate, uh, basically, a red line market segment is defined into those three pillars. The telecom uh, pillar, which include the digital divide and we see big push now especially in africa for the so-called tv white space rural connectivity uh, as i earlier mentioned the b2b overlay for the carrier which is a very profitable business unit usually for these type of businesses and very important you know in country and especially for emerging countries uh, providing backhaul infrastructure capability we also enable customer transformation and governments. So as I mentioned, smart cities, defense, uh, surveillance, monitoring and control, and uh, department of traffic or intelligent transportation system. Uh, we enable those infrastructure. Uh, you know, it's, a, it's almost a plug and play technology enabling those essential uh, services. Uh, and lastly, and again, most importantly for today's audience, the energy and mining. So Red, Red Line is a key enabler for the so-called digital oil field and digital mine. Also, we have been uh, you know, uh, playing pivotal role with large automation company, global automation company, providing you know, uh, 
the main uh, infrastructure connectivity for the so-called digital grid for power utilities. Uh, we see big investment and focus on, uh, you know, autonomousness uh, with what it means in the industry, and we will talk about it. And definitely industrial IoT and industry 4.0 enablement, uh, you know, uh, it has a mandatory route to go through, uh, you know, solid uh, infrastructure, wireless infrastructure. So uh, really, in a, in a nutshell, with a 30,000 feet view, Redline does enable the digital transformation for the oil field, whether it's onshore or offshore. Uh, you know, uh, we understand those addressable needs, and uh, you know, we uh, work uh, continuously on trying to to uh, you know evolve in order to address those needs. The ability to provide a consolidated uh, network, secure uh, infrastructure for both the IT and the OT. Uh, really, you know, to elevate the visibility and to increase, uh, you know, the level of productivity. And, and really, we have experience in, in the industry throughout our partners and our clients. Uh, the moment they introduce Redline technology to their network, Definitely, it will increase the transparency, the automation, uh, and the level of visibility of their production uh, would increase systematically, which help them optimize the revenue. Uh, very important, automating the assets in, in the oil and gas field, whether it's remote drilling, operation, you know, uh, inspection. Uh, you know, we all experience the severe impact of the pandemic with whatever you know it means to each and every one of them real-time accessibility and to enable experts whether they are sitting in you know in, in europe or houston or you know china or wherever to access in real time uh, those remote assets and to provide a real-time input uh, you know whether it's for drilling site uh, uh, excavation production uh, well had connectivity, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that ability has phenomenal impact to the business. Uh, also, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this system is modular, uh, with, with grow as, as need be. So an, uh, uh, an optimized lower capex and opex versus, you know, rolling a legacy system with a, you know, uh, with a, a defined price tag that would affect you know, our budget. Uh, the whole point really is to provide a simplified network and very smooth uh, you know, uh, connection and, and operation mode. Few figures here we draw from you know, uh, achieved business cases in the field. So usually at $100 barrel, uh, and we are sitting today around $75 per barrel. So basically, everyone was drilling, right? Because you know everyone can make money. However, at, at fifty dollar, uh, it was only about you know trying to introduce technology to enhance or recovery because you know the cost is is a major factor whether you know uh, these companies decide to extract or not to extract, uh, basically oil. And today we sit in that average of seventy five dollar, which really you know, uh, could, could show uh, how this industry might be bouncing back in the near term and, you know, their preparation for investment. So it's very important. Uh, also, you know, what we're experiencing in this industry and especially related to wireless as such, you know, most of these operators, they're trying to standardize. So we see them moving uh, gradually from a proprietary solution toward more standardization. Uh, and we will talk on that more in detail. Also, you know, law of physics uh, determine the fact that narrow band have limited spectrum. So there is big push to move toward broader broadband and wider spectrum. Uh, you know, lots of asset mandate today, mobility, especially around the edge. So there's lots of activity uh, that requires, you know, uh, handover and roaming and mobile type of uh, accessibility. We'll talk on that. Uh, 
and also you know historically it was strictly lmr now we see big push on voice more important on data and video uh, and basically it's you know at the end of the day and this is i would say part of the red line philosophy uh, rather than providing ad hoc connectivity, it's more, uh, you know, providing a holistic, a complete solution, enabling the so-called uh, digital transformation for a digital oil field. Julian, can we move to the next slide, please? Okay, uh, here what we're seeing really is uh, you know, the red line uh, top view, our, our architecture toward LTE. And uh, recently, red line around a couple of years ago have introduced a full 3GPP uh, LTE solution. Uh, and that basically was introduced to cater to our, again, uh, the same line of, of customers, those, you know, industrially graded private networks. And really the purpose of, of you know, our uh, LTE was to provide full mobility at the edge. So with our you know, uh, transport capability, virtual fiber, our proprietary solution, whether it's a point-to-point, point, point to multi point or it's you know, stationary and nomadic uh, you know, uh, solution uh, contributing uh, you know, to those uh, customers. Uh, we have introduced a 3GPP mobile network for those private clients, enabling them to benefit from, you know, the latest LTE technology. Uh, and we recognize the importance of having a complete solution, which really put Redline in a very unique position. You know, the ability to provide a comprehensive total solution. With that, we have introduced our FlexCore uh, EPC. Uh, and definitely a complete standalone system, whether it's centralized or distributed. Uh, again, those are our our core network EPC. Uh, we also, you know, being part of the standard, uh, you know, we have tested a wide range, and we benefit from the fact being a standard of testing a wide range of mobile device, uh, you know, ecosystem standardized on LTE. So this is this is a, a holistic topology of of the red line, uh, you know, full digitalization, uh, plus basically uh, infrastructure connectivity. So as you see here, we are providing different medium of infrastructure connectivity, uh, whether it's our uh, proprietary virtual fiber, the green lines connecting, you know, backhauling those tower sites and uh, providing a uh, backhaul type of connectivity or you know trying to shower uh, access point to point and point to po uh, multi point uh, including uh, stationary and, and nomadic type of, of solution and as you see that includes the, you know retrofitting vehicles uh, you know a mobile workforce or emergency cars even well had uh, you know drilling etc so all type of assets in, in, in that perspective would be connected to that single network, whether it's onshore or offshore FPSOs, you know, retrofitting vessels, again, with, with the red line network. So whether it's fully mobile LTE or it's, it's an infrastructure network, it's very important that, you know, uh, you you work with with the subject matter experts like Redline who have this complete solution. Julian, can you move us to the next slide, please? Okay, so before I hand over uh, to Julian, our uh, technology solution manager, who will carry on with the next slides. I'd like to leave you with, you know, a top view of, of the red line portfolio. So as you might see, we have two categories in front of you. 
industrial and commercial. Uh, and really, this is due to the fact that even though we're heavily industrial focused, you know, traditionally, Redline caters, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, to, uh, you know, the WISP market for their business to business line. And it's, uh, as you all know, it's a very market, uh, I would say, price sensitive. And, uh, you know, we were keen on that. We acknowledge, you know, the, the need to develop a lighter version. But in order not to compromise our, you know, uh, more meaningful industrial, uh, you know, uh, graded product portfolio, we have kept our uh, full category, inclu uh, including our, uh, you know, industrial portfolio, whether it's mobile LTE or, uh, you know, point-to-point, uh, point-to-multi-point. Uh, again, we have uh, our uh, NMS solution and the EPC for LTE. Uh, and we will come back to talk more about the services throughout this presentation. Uh, Yuren, uh, you may want to take it from here. And I'll see you toward the end of uh, this presentation. Thank you, everyone. I will be sharing my contact details with all. Please, you know, let me know if you have any question you'd like us to schedule more focus session. I will be available. Julian, the floor is yours. Thank you, Thank you Ziad. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Julian Blorano. I am the technical solution manager for uh, Redline for uh, this region. And uh, I will start uh, reiterating uh, what uh, Ziad uh, explain about uh, our portfolio that is split into main uh, type of products, industrial and commercial. And we have also full suit of software for uh, NMS, EPC, and also a push to talk uh, server. For the industrial portfolio, as you can see in the first uh, image, we have uh, our uh, base stations uh, for uh, virtual fiber and uh, inodes for LTE. Then we have our uh, fixed type of uh, subscribers. Then uh, our nomadic uh, slow mobility type of uh, rapid alignment systems, full accessories and also our uh, mobile routers and uh, UEs. I will not go in details for the commercial uh, type of products uh, and uh, we'll discuss uh, in the next slides also about uh, the software uh, we provide, including our full NMS and EPC. Very important to mention the frequencies uh, we support uh, for uh, the LTE are all the 3GPP bands. Are you still able to see my screen? I have a slight issue. Yes, I do see your screen, William. You may okay. want to carry on. Thank you. So for uh, the LTE solution, we provide the products for all the 3GPP bands, uh, depending of the business case. And uh, at this moment, we have all the listed bands uh, provided here uh, in this slide. For the virtual fiber, we offer uh, solutions uh, in the UHF band starting with 470 megahertz up to 698 megahertz. Then uh, we have the next queue in two gigahertz from 2.0 to 2.3. Then we offer solutions in 2.3 to 2.7 gigahertz, 3.3 to 3.8 gigahertz, and the five gigahertz, which starts from 4.9 to 5.9 gigahertz. And we'll go in details uh, for the industrial portfolio in the next slides. Okay. About the Redline solution architecture, the main uh, type of products uh, 
we have, as explained, are the virtual fiber and the LTE solution. And uh, the virtual fiber is designed uh, to cover uh, connectivity for digital oil field, for drilling rigs, for analytics, high resolution cameras, and backhaul inode bees. And the LTE solution is designed for machine to machine connectivity, IoT sensors, personal co connectivity, vehicles, and mobile devices. And we offer a full core for the digital oil field. Regarding the Redline Industrial LTE, the family of products is called RDL 6000 and uh, is designed for true mobility. However, it can be used also for uh, transport in some cases with some limitations. It is a standard based type of uh, connectivity 3GPP standard solution. And uh, very important when you get a spectrum for the LT solution is to make sure that there is an ecosystem for UEs and mobile routers in that band. This next slide is about the Redline Private LT solution, which is a compact, complete system that can be rapidly deployed. A very cost efficient type of uh, inode B. And uh, we offer a Marco base station coverage in a very compact form, providing uh, the best in class range for limited number of devices. It is a very rugged type of industrial design compared with uh, our competition. And the flex core is uh, the industry lowest entry cost EPC. We'll talk a little bit about uh, the flex talk, which is our push to talk solution, which offers a AS256 encryption offer secure group multimedia me messaging, also live location tracking and mapping, and historical location traffic and tracking and mapping. And also it can be integrated with the uh, all P25 or DMR type of networks. Our main focus for uh, the FlexTalk uh, solution is government and public safety type uh, of uh, connectivities and also uh, the industrial grade uh, mining or oil and gas type of networks. It is a carrier agnostic type of solution and can be deployed over Wi-Fi or private LTE networks and also offers a flexible server option. It can be used over the Amazon uh, type of uh, uh, servers, the cloud solution, or it can be hosted on the partner uh, cloud or data center, or also on the end customer uh, private uh, environment. In the next slide, we'll talk about uh, the virtual fiber uh, product family, which uh, is the most deployed solution for oil and gas fixed and slow mobility connectivity. In the left side, you can see our uh, base station. The base stations for Redline are called Ellipse. And to the same base station in the same frequency, you can connect any type of CPE. You can connect the enterprise subscribers, which are designed for uh, our commercial networks, or you can connect uh, the rapid alignment systems, which are designed for uh, connectivities like uh, rigs, vehicles, uh, or uh, mobile uh, 
slow mobility type of vessel connectivity uh, for oil and gas. Then uh, you can connect also the elite and edge units, which are the military grade with uh, FIPS 140-2 military security, or you can connect the connect and endurance type of units, which are special units designed for oil and gas with ATEX Zone 2 and ATEX Zone 1 type of certifications. About red, the virtual fiber is designed for both uh, backhaul and access uh, type of networks. And uh, the main uh, benefits and differentiators are uh, support for uh, extreme environments from uh, minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. We deploy networks uh, in North uh, Canada or uh, in the Middle East deserts. And the spectrum supported, as explained earlier, is from 450 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz. The security supported is AES-256 or AS-128 type of standard security or even military type of certifications as FIPS-140-2. Also very important for the oil and gas, all our base stations and CPEs, even the special type of uh, connect units with serial ports are coming also with uh, certifications for ATEX Zone 1 for the endurance type of product or ATEX Zone 2 certification for the ellipse and connect type of units. Now we'll go through each product uh, which we consider relevant for oil and gas one by one. And we'll talk first about the ellipse sector controller, which is an OFDM two by two MIMO TDD type of solution. The supported frequencies as stated before from 450 up to six gigahertz the modulation we support is from BPSK 1x2 up to 256 QAM 7x8. And very important, we support very low channel sizes, which is unique in the industry, starting with 0 0.875 megahertz up to 20 megahertz, which offers you a a very unique type of solution in the areas where you do not have spectrum. A spectrum in license bands is quite hard to get for these industrial applications. Uh, another important factor to specify is the power consumption, it's, which is less than 17 watts, and we deploy very large networks only with solar power type of connectivity. So a base station with full capabilities when has connected 120 CPEs and it works at maximum capacity, it will never have a power consumption bigger than 17 watts. A usual type of deployment in oil and gas will have always less than 10 watts consumption. The next slides are about the industrial remote terminals, which are the connect uh, model. And we have the connect OWER, which comes in two type of uh, enclosures, let's say. The first one, it is with uh, integrated and embedded antennas. And also we have the model with uh, external antennas and you can connect ante antenna starting with two foot up to eight foot for very long distance. We have uh, connectivities for oil and gas, which uh, have longer distance than 100 kilometers with this model. Then we have special type of units, connect OWS, 
which has uh, the serial ports to connect legacy type of networks and the connect IWS, which was designed for uh, special oil fields where you are not allowed to put a radio outside the cabinet. So this will have a split architecture like the old radios, even if it's our newest radio, where you'll have the radio inside the cabinet and the antenna outside. It's very important to mention our uh, DC DCPOE, which is uh, a highly deployed solution uh, even for uh, other uh, networks, not only red line networks. Uh, we sell it to partners as Honeywell and ABB uh, to connect uh, their own uh, networks and solution as this is an ATEC zone to certified uh, POE. And it supports an input range from 10 to 60 VDC. The temperature range is the same as for our industrial uh, range of products from minus 40 to 75 degrees. Then we'll talk about uh, our uh, nomadic terminals, which are uh, the most important for uh, the drilling uh, part of uh, the oil and gas market. So the RAS solution, it's a zero touch, full automatic self-alignment solution provides a very simple installation with just uh, simple powering up the radio and uh, it will search for the optimal signal and uh, it has a flexible installation including vehicle rooftop with magnetic type of connectivity or it can be installed on a telescopic mast on a trailer very important to mention that we have uh, our own, own protocol for network topology awareness, which supports uh, the rapid alignment system for very fast connectivity. And the first product we'll talk about is the RAS Elite, which uh, is deployed in frequencies starting 4.9 gigahertz up to 6 gigahertz. This looks like uh, an omni antenna, but in fact, it's a smart uh, uh, antenna with beam forming, and it will just uh, connect to the, it will transmit in the direction of the base station and will get interference only from the direction of the base station with a way high, higher power than an omni, and uh, it will not interfere in the field. Uh, what uh, is the biggest? disadvantage of Omni antennas in such solution. It's a rugged construction, IP67 rated, and all our uh, rapid alignment systems have a GPS uh, in order to be able to track the movement of uh, these uh, mobile solutions. The next product we'll talk about is the RAS Extend Land Vehicle. This can be deployed in all the frequencies starting uh, 400 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz and it has a military grade motor and offers a longer range than the RAS Elite solution. And the last product uh, for uh, rapid alignment solutions uh, for virtual fiber we are presenting is called RAS Extend Marine. It is designed for uh, to be used uh, with uh, marine vessels or uh, rigs or uh, FSO type of connectivities. It offers uh, a dual GPS uh, for tracking and pitch and roll type uh, of issues we have uh, in the marine environment and it's offered in all the frequencies uh, supported by our base stations including 470 to 698 2 gigahertz 3 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz
in the next slide, we are talking about the Redline services, and uh, I'll leave Mr. Ziad Shreddy to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, Julian. Um, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to stress that this is only a teaser. So definitely, if you are interested in, you know, a deep dive, more details, do not hesitate to reach out. We are available uh, really to walk you through, you know, different solutions. Uh, you know, just to conclude, Redline have demonstrated in the past, we do have the capability to provide complete solution, right? Including uh, full, full scope of services, starting with a project consultation, assessment, uh, you know, uh, defining the objective, the business case, uh, and we have, you know, lots of, because again, those industries, they are similar. So we can, uh, you know, we have a great track record of experience that we can bring to the table. And we can work with you, uh, with your local regulatory to define the best spectrum uh, and provide, you know, uh, a complete design uh, and work with you on that. We have a, you know, a special department for RF planning uh, that, you know, they can help with that, uh, but also, you know, defining the optimized bill of material and, uh, you know, until implementing the network, mobilizing the required resources and, uh, you know, uh, providing warranty and extended support for a longer term uh, longevity of the network. Uh, we do provide also training. We have a uh, uh, you know, training department dedicated for training and certification, whether it's for end client or for, uh, you know, uh, partners, etc. And, uh, you know, during the pandemic, we were restricted to uh, remote online session. We're eager, you know, for life to go back to normal so we can definitely travel the world and provide field training with hands-on uh, experience. So with that, uh, I'd like to, you know, uh, leave the floor to uh, uh, Martin Liskov from our uh, Wincom, our uh, global distributor. Uh, and uh, again, uh, thank you very much for attending today's session. Please do not hesitate to reach out should you have any queries, projects you'd like us to work together with you on, or any material for that perspective. Martin, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Ziad, and thank you, Julian, for the presentation and for both of you uh, for this session. Um, thank you for all the participants as well who managed to come online uh, end of June. I'm really pleased to see such a number of attendees today. I would like to remind you that uh, Wincom Technologies is a distributor for Redline, uh, but on, not only a distributor, but a value added distributor. Um, keeping stock as well uh, for the customers on all these different technologies that has been uh, presented to you today uh, with a very strong engineering background as well. So as a value add, we are here to support you uh, as uh, Ziad also mentioned from Redline side, but also from Wincom side. So please feel free to um, send us uh, any inquiries, requests, or any questions you may have on the technology of the product. If you have a project, uh, please share with us. We, are, uh, we would be pleased to work on them with you, and we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, also another thing that I would like to uh, emphasize on is that uh, Wincom is also distributing a lot of complementary solutions like solar power, energy, uh, cabling, uh, switching technologies that uh, can complete the red line solution and gives, gives you a turnkey infrastructure um, that we can help you on the design and on the supply side uh, to have a successful project running for your customers or yourself. So thank you very much for everybody for this attendance. And we look forward to hearing from you very soon and on the next session as well. And wish you an excellent day. Thank you.